And hello, Twitch world. Oh, I should turn light on. I'm gonna add that to my list. Adding that to the list, turn on light. So the checklist continues to grow, which is cool. I went through all of it, but the thing that is not on there is turn on light. Um, so we're just gonna copy this. Plates needed. Also, I've got for later nights when I the light's sensitive on my eyes, I've got an infrared camera coming in that I'm going to play with because I'm ridiculous, uh, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, let me just make sure all the stuff is looking good. Do a little checky check here. Oh, I should make that a little bit easier to deal with too. Cool. That's all looking good. That's all looking good. That's all looking good. Sweet. Um, all right, I think we're ready. Uh, so last time, what we did was make a gifts page. And the goal with this page is, oh, I should have closed all these. Hang on. There we go. That's the better. There's one back there. Cool. Um, stand by one more thing. We're going to add one more thing to the list. Oh, which I shouldn't have closed. Uh, all right. We're going to bring that back up. We're going to bring this back up. We're going to go edit our Twitch checklist and say Resize all windows to fit in, fit in streaming area. Yep, so still still working out some kinks on this stuff. I'm actually going to leave that one there. It's fine for now. Um, so the thing that we did last time was build a GIFs page. And my goal with this page, um, which I actually put up uh, a little stream notes of it, uh, which is building a local version of GIF. Yeah, it's been been a little bit. The 21st, the 20th, today's the 23rd. So I did, did some other stuff in between. But so basically I, what I want is um, a local file on my MAMP server. So this is an actual web server that's running on my machine via um, some software called MAMP. Uh, which is, I forget what MAMP stands for. MAMP. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? So I've started taking, I've made, is it going for Windows? Let's go to the home page. No, no, it's going for Mac. Whatever. Um, so I made, I'm gonna start doing stream notes. Um, so, you're, so I'm going to capture some stuff here. So we'll just uh, we'll talk about what we talk about, and we'll have notes for it. Um, but I run this local web server called MAMP. Um, it's Apache, Nginx, Postgres, not Postgres, but databases, whatever underneath there. Um, and so it's what I use for my little launch pad, this little area that I've got here. Um, and there's a couple different things on here. Um, like I've got some Spotify control that jumps through. Uh, I've got my little Twitch checklist that. I keep adding to where I mark off the stuff as I'm getting ready to do a broadcast. Um, and then, it, and mostly it's just links. There's some forms here, whatever. But the thing that I was looking for was a way to quickly send GIFs to uh, Twitter and Discord or wherever. So I've got a collection of GIFs here. And, it's, and so you can kind of see them, right? I mean, or you can see one of them all, but like when I'm kind of looking for them, I have to kind of know what I'm looking for. And you can kind of do this, but that's also kind of all over the place. Um, and sometimes the, like it goes from H to R to S to A, like they're not really ordered. So there's not a good order there. Um, and I think this one might actually work a little bit okay. Yeah, so again, you, I could kind of scroll through and see a little bit of this way, but it's just not, a, it's not what I'm looking for. Um, what I want is, um, 
what I realize now, what I want is something like Giphy, right? Um, where it's just a whole bunch of GIFs on a screen, right? Um, so, but I don't want them this big and I don't need all the rest of the stuff. I also want them to load quickly. Like it keeps lagging right now because it's doing a slow load. Um, but so we built that last time. I've got now this page that has all those images. And then the other thing that I wanted to be able to do, and so it's slow right now, which is one of the things we're gonna fix. Um, what I wanted to be able to do was uh, like have a Twitter window open. And my initial idea, whoops, that's not gonna work at all. I need to set up some hotkeys for splitting that. I can maybe do that at some other point. Um, the, what I'm looking for is if I'm making a tweet, ideally, my initial idea was I'd be able to grab, uh, we're gonna have to do this. Uh, I'd be able to grab a, a, a GIF and drop it over here. But that doesn't work. And I'm fairly certain that the reason it doesn't work is uh, because this file isn't really downloaded as far as kind of the operating main operating system that the user has access to sees. Like it's it's saved on the file, it's saved on the computer in an area that Safari sees or your web browser sees, but it, that's not, when you when you drag it over like this, it doesn't have it doesn't make that connection. Um, so the file is still on your computer, but it's not ready to go. So you need to drag it in from the Finder or from your from your um, well from the Finder on a Mac uh, or from Windows Explorer. So that didn't work. I'm back off this song. Uh, so what I ended up doing was whoops, wrong things. Um, making a little PHP application or file or something, uh, gifs index. Um, so the first thing, so the first thing I do is like, I look at all the gifs, I get all the gifs, I resize all the gifs, which they're also not moving right now. Um, we need to speed this up, right? Um, and, but if I, but if I click on one, what it does is it copies the GIF over into this directory for me and then opens my finder window and moves it up front. So whenever I want to go like get a GIF going, it's pretty quick. Now it's going to take this a second because it's reloading. And the process of reloading right now, when it scans all the GIFs, it's just making new thumbnail copies of all of them because like some of these GIFs are pretty big. Um, there's one in here that I can't find right now that's that's 11 meg. So that's that's the basics of what's going on. Is I, I've got this little thing where it's like I click and then I, it brings me this. And then if I was on if I still had Twitter open, here let's do it for real. Uh, so I'm gonna close that for now. So I've got Twitter open. I'm gonna start writing tweet. Maybe, oh, well, let me scroll down, there you go. So we've got a tweet, and I've got my other little GIF window here, which again, it's gonna take a second to load. It's the thing I'm not sure about, is like, have you seen the first one of these and I can just jump into the second one, or does it, like I need, I feel like there needs to be some connection, but I feel like I'm going too long. Uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll find that, we will refine that every time. Uh, oh yeah, so here's up the top is just some things I was thinking about. Um, so whatever, we're, we're going to take a GIF. And so all I'm going to do, please try again here. So I click on that. Pretty quickly fires fires up the window. There's there's a launch D script back in the back, which you can read about in the first part, um, that, that watches for a file to be dropped in here, which PHP does, and then it opens the window. But so I can click, and then I can just drag and drop, and that drag and drop works. Um, Live feet. No, I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, Amp Pro, let's get this thing set back up. So that's that's where we're at. And so the thing to do now, the uh, the main thing I want to do now is I want this page to load quickly. Um, 
and it does not load quickly right now. And so if we, but if we go, uh, so here's all the resize code. Let's get that over there so you can see it a little bit. Um, yeah, still gotta figure out if this is the right size for the front, I think it is. But so if we take, so we, we find all the GIFs in our source directory and then we do a for loop over them, or for each loop over them. And so we get each individual file. And then this code right here does the resize. It does a couple different steps to do the resize, but it gets the resize going. And then the last thing is it then, um, and it's always resizing to 200, which again, we're gonna, another thing we're gonna do is size it a little bit better. Um, and then the last thing it does is it just echoes out a link to the GIF. But so if we take out all this code for a second, and refresh the page. Now it's like, so all those thumbnails already exist. It's just going to load as fast as it can load them. And of course they're all cached, but what you'll see is, oh, it didn't. Oh, why didn't that do that? I thought they would have stayed. Why did they disappear? I'm going. Oh, am I not pulling? No, I got a path. Oh, resize file path. I need to keep this, which is just a regular expression that shows me. Oh, I've been doing pound signs. I guess we've been doing slashes. Um, this just changes the source file into uh, the source file path into a. Whoops, where's the launch path? Um, where's Launchpad? I should move Launchpad up here too, because we do a lot of work on it right now. I'm getting better about making these things dynamic. I used to kind of really like, ooh, let me think really hard about how I'm doing this. So I'm just like throw stuff up there and see what happens. Uh, and then change it if you don't, if you need to. Um, so the GIFs, all the source GIFs are sitting in this directory. And then it does the resize files into this one. So this little line of code basically just takes the source path and turns it into the resize path. So, and then here, uh, and then this is where it actually gets copied over. The reason it wasn't loading a second ago is I, I target, or I, I pull the images from the resize path. So because that was commented out, it couldn't hit anything. Now, hopefully, there we go. And see, that's, that's pretty fast. Now, a bunch of that stuff's cached, but a bunch of that stuff will usually be cached for me. Actually, let's try something. So we're gonna go into Firefox. I'm just curious to see. So Firefox is my browser that I keep in private mode all the time so that I can go hit pages like this and see what the performance was as if I was coming to it um, dry. Uh, still pretty fast. Still loading, still loading, still loading, but it's, you know, that's pretty fast. And now it's cached, so it'll be like super duper fast. Maybe, yeah. Um, so that's cool. Like that's that's where I'm headed, and I want that type of response every time. Versus right now, where uh, if we put that code back in, you know, it takes um, takes a few seconds or several seconds for it to uh, for it to render the all the stuff. Because it because every time it's not smart about making the the smaller images. Um, it just rebuilds all of them 100% of the time every time the page is hit. And so, right, the, so the, um, the thing that you get is this waiting bar while it's sitting there going through however many images. And right now there's 380 images. So taking a few seconds isn't awful when you think that it's doing 380 images. Like, that's not too bad. But I don't want to have to do that all the time. I want that instant hit. Um, because the whole pro whole purpose of this is to get so I can do it fast, right? Um, See, so that took a long time. Um, so, anyways, so now what we're going to do is actually try and figure out how to do that. And I know, so I know that the thing that I want to do, or, or the plan that I've got in this, is so here are my source images, and here are my resized images. What I'm thinking about doing is. Oh, you know what? Actually, that wasn't going to work. I was going to do a comparison of 
the timestamps, but the new timestamp is always going to be faster, or is always going to be ahead. So what I, I was backwards in my thinking. What I was going to do is compare the timestamp, and if the resize cache, if the resize was older than the resize cache. Sorry, if it was newer, then you would build the new resize cache. That's what you would do for a caching thing. Which you could still do that, but that's actually not the first thing that I need to do. The first thing I really need to do, because I very rarely edit these images, so I'm talking about this as if it's a cache, but it's really just making thumbnails. And so the... Most of the... And so, sorry, that caching thing really would, would work, and I... And, I may do that down the road because if I do actually edit one of these images, I would want those edits to take place. But I've never edited one of these images. So I'm not gonna worry about that right now. That's that's an enhancement that I may or may not do in the future if I ever run into it, but I've never run into it, so I'm not gonna build for it. Uh, or I'm not gonna build for it right now, to be specific. Uh, why is my... Down to 48 gigs. That's kind of weird. I think that number just went down. Um, I've been doing a bunch of video moving, and so everything's... So I'm using a lot of space. Oh, it just went up a little bit. I don't know what's going on. Um, but so what... So, so actually, all I really need to do now... I'm going to run off the assumption that... I'm not the happy path, right? But... I'm running off the assumption that for this iteration, and again, there's, there can always be future iterations, and so there's always like the happy path and all that stuff, but like for this iteration, the methodology is going to be dependent on the fact that the gifts don't change. Future iteration, maybe that we have to deal with that, but that's not what we're, what we're tackling here. Excuse me. So all that I really need to do is for every image in the source directory, look and see if the image is already there in the resize directory. And if it is, I don't need to do anything. I can skip that one and go to the next one. If it's not there, then I want to generate it. Um, and so the and, and so one of the one of the places I'm just trying to think through like what are the reasons for that and against that. One of the tricks would with that though would be if I change the resize from 200 pixels to 300 pixels, but I've got that logic in place, it would actually skip all of them. It wouldn't rebuild any new images. I'm not worried about that, because if I change it, I know I could just go through and delete all the images sitting in the cache, and then the next time through, as it looked at every file in the source, it would see that the other ones aren't there, and it would rebuild all of them. So that's that's an easy enough thing for a rebuild, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking through the parts that I would need to do versus like what should I do programmatically what can I just handle manually um so yeah so that's actually I think like that feels like that's going to be pretty good pretty solid um let me close that one and close that one and so let's do it let's see what happens uh so now all I need to do is php File exists because that's what we wanted to do. So we already we already have um, we're, I'm using relative paths right now, which I'm not as big a fan of. But it's this isn't a giant production thing, and so one like one of the things that I'm working on in my brain is. Finding that battle, like I used to, I used to really want things to be like ideal and right and all the way best practiced out the ass. That's not always necessary. Like, and like best practices, by the way, are, aren't, it's not like, there's not like independent truths of best practices where they're all like, if you stack them all up, they all line up exactly right. Like there's some overlap and sometimes they conflict. And like best practice just means like, I don't know, it's actually a kind of an interesting term. Because is it really the best practice or is it just a practice that works really well in a particular situation? 
Um, and it's maybe the best practice search. I don't know. Um, talk to my rhetoric professor friends about this and have some debates about it or arguments. Um, these are going to kind of be all over the place. That's fine. Um, so for this, yeah, I just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with that and put in a file exist call because we've already got this is where I said it a second ago we've we've already got our source path relative as it may be so this the uh, this is the PHP file right here this index.php under my gifs folder. And so it's just looking in the source directory for star.gif. And then we're already doing the rename here to get resized cache. So that's where we get this other path. So we've got both paths available to us. Um, I wonder if I should show this in JavaScript. It'd be hard to do because it's inside the four thing. Eh, whatever. Um, I was just thinking you could actually, like, we could actually go through. Um, and this is where I need to figure out where I want to have kind of this level of this. But like we could actually put in like some JavaScript outputs here to write to the console. Actually, well, this would be interesting. Uh, PHP browser console. Right. How to log to the console in PHP. Oh, does console log really work? Oh, that's in JavaScript. Uh, that's a very big font. Oh my god, that's tiny. To roll into the screen. First, JavaScript. Uh huh. Test tools with Sam JavaScript. Why console is a good thing. There you go. Whatever you need, if you don't decide an output. If you have a browser page, another possible destination you can file on your server. How to log, okay, this is where we want to get to. Um, oh, function console log. With script tags equals true. So we're making a function called console log. We're dropping in the the JavaScript call. We're encoding it as JSON. If with script tags we put in that, so you'd want to do that every time. This is cool. I like this. So we're going to grab that. Um, cool. Where'd it go? So we're going to grab this. We're actually going to make a note of this. Because I just want to have, get our source here, credit. Then we're going to play around with this just a little bit. Uh, we're going to get to the right page. So in here, let's just do it here for, whoops. Let's do it right here for now. So I'm just going to copy JSON hex code output. Oh, okay. So that's a, that's a um, thing for this, which is native to PHP. I forget what those are called. Flags, type, something. I don't know if I like this. First, I'm not going to screw with this code yet. I just want little, so let's just see if it works. Um, is this thing on? Also, I'm going to do this for a minute. Um, I'm going to take out our resize. Calls. You know what I want to do too? I want to move that up so it's so the, all the so the, the path setting happens first, and then all the rest of that stuff. That way, when I'm commenting it out, like I just comment out that section, and you could move it to a function. Blah 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 blah. Um, all right, first let's just see if 
We're live. Okay, we're live. Did we actually make anything happen on the console? Is this thing on? Cool. Okay, that's super cool. Now we got a little debugger going. Uh huh. Get a little debugger going. Debugger. I'll hit that at some point. Um, sweet, super sweet. Oh, that's really okay. That's really slick. I like that. So, I, part of me like looks at this code, and oh, whoops. Okay, I was confused. Part of me looks at this code, and like I want to simplify it just a little bit. Um, why don't we do this? Because we don't need that line. Um, like with this with script tags, I look at that and I'm like, why the hell is that in there? Like it's always going to be here. But I recognize you could actually have well. Yeah, so you could have PHP inside of a JavaScript and do it. So part of me wants to part of me wants to take it out, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it in. I'm gonna let it go. Um, that's very slick. Good good job out of stack something, Stackify. I don't know what Stackify does. Diagnose and prove and accelerate performance. All right. Test early and often. Deploy with confidence. I like, oh, I hate these things though. Fuck those things right off. Um, I like it when companies do put out stuff like this. Like it's good marketing, but like I feel like it also is a good thing to have. So like the, the way that I always think about this is hopefully that there's like some devs back there somewhere, they're like, ooh, I, like, I just solved this thing. Like, it's not unlike Stack Overflow. It's like, I saw this thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it out there. Um, more people should do this, not just companies, but people, blogs, right? So something I'm making an effort to do. Um, part of that's with ease. So this is cool, we got, a, uh, we got ourselves a little debugger now. And that's also something that's really neat just to point it out about this live stream stuff. I don't, I wouldn't have done, I wouldn't have found that debugger if I wasn't doing the stream. Like this, uh, this conversation is what led me to doing that. Um, like I just would have, I don't know what I would have done. I just would have kept most of my head because I knew, like I already know the parts that I'm messing with now and what I was doing and how the, how the file pass would work. So I just would have coded through it. The explanation and the um, demonstration led me to this thing and that's a really cool thing like that's really slick um that's worth its own blog post uh that's the wrong page here we go nope yep so anyways all that's to say here's here's what i wanted to do with that here's here's why i wanted to get that so we know that things on so we're looping through our gifs we're going through the source and so what i want to be able to do is right here go GIF file, oops, which is our initial path. And then, like, I already know what this is going to do because it's already putting the thing over there, but I just want to kind of show it to demonstrate it. Um, and there's this path. And so if we refresh, here's it looping through all of the uh, GIFs in the source and then having that path and then here's the renamed path and so the does file exist all that i need to do is check for if this file exists oh this this log thing is actually super cool because now what i can do is actually we can do some demonstration here about how stuff works okay that's super cool um i really like this what are we doing um we're drinking some water and staying hydrated is the music going? I feel like the music's not going. Oh, it's a 15 minute The Inner Sound song. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that. Stand by. Because I can't hear it at all. Can you hear it? I can't hear it. Sounds like silence. Also, I'm looking at the meters and there's nothing happening on the meters. So goodbye song. Uh, how do you spell PQRS T? Where's the inner sound? Bear with me. I just, otherwise this is gonna keep happening. So I've got a playlist over here that I threw a whole bunch of stuff at with the idea that, uh, 
I would take stuff out when I don't like it. And where... Oh, I guess it's doing... It's not making me look at the... the. There it is. Yeah, the inner sound is under I, which I kind of get, but whatever. All right, I kind of hear something going. I, I need to look at the music a little bit and figure out where that volume is. Anyways. So we've got our path. And now we need to do, I'm just gonna pin that. I'm gonna keep the code in there, PHP. I don't have a debugging. Dev. Um, close that, close that, because we already got it. Here's our file exists, close this so we can see what's going on. Yeah, so file exists, and then you pass it a string, which is a file name. And then it returns a boolean, yay or nay. So how do you do PHP if? What's the syntax? Do you have one of those up there somewhere? Oh yeah, right here. I can look at it. Um, so here's here's all we should need to do. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And we're going to do this. If file exists, file exists, file name, which again is going to be our resize path. That's what we're looking for. Well, actually, if it exists, we don't want to do anything. If not, huh? what's PHP if not? If not. Because if it exists, I don't want to do something. What I, I mean, so that like the easiest way around this is I could do this and just pass nothing and then do else and put my code in here. Eh, why don't we do that? Just make sure my logic's right here. Is that gonna fix? Yeah. Um, so, and now what we're going to do is console.log making, making the resize path. And we shouldn't see anything because they're all made. Or we're going to break it entirely. What did I do? Back out of that. Somehow my if is wrong. I got that. Okay. What am I doing on the if statement? Here's their if statement. If file exists. Can you not have it? Can you not just have an empty if? Is that what's happening? something in there. Here. Nope, that wasn't it. What is going on? Oh, 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 oh. gotcha. Has to be in the prints. Uh, Let's put that back in there. Let's put the friends back. Now we should see it here come out. Actually, a bunch of them, right? If file exists resized, console log. There we go. Okay, yeah. So this is hitting all the files that exist. Um, already. exists file path. 
So there's all the ones that already exist. That got aggressive. Now what we need to do is run our else, which we just copied all the existing code in. And I'm actually gonna, actually, hang on a second. If I just comment this out and just leave that as an if by itself, does it still work? It should, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so now with this else, I'm actually gonna make it right now. We still shouldn't see anything because all the images are built. But if I delete one of them and run, oh, I didn't see it. What the hell? See, this is good. I'm just trying like, and this is another thing where like me going through this simply, like I might've just jumped to the end there. I might've messed myself up. Um, but I would have expected so it's looking, it's going through the source path, source path. Make sure that really is a source path. Yeah, so it's looking at this. It's getting the name that should go there via this. It's looking for it here. And if it finds it, it would print out, but it's not gonna find it, so it's, aha. There it is. So that's what we need to do is, is, is make that one. And so now, and again, I'm kind of, I was confident. I, I kind of already knew how this would work, right? But this is how we go do things or do it on stream. So now this time when I run it, it's going to make that file for me. But what should happen is the rest of the page should load still really quickly, right? So here we go. Boom, made it. There it is. Um, and now if I refresh it again, so that make, and so we can verify. Here it is on resize cache, our salute loop came back. And so now when I run it again, we're not gonna see anything down here because they're all made, right? Boop. Good. Uh, and so, you know, I'm gonna re I'm just gonna kill a bunch of them. This is one of those like after I've done a thing, especially like this web stuff where I like I don't I haven't tested PHP or done TDD on PHP before, so I'm not really sure how to do that yet. Um but like, this is one of those things like, ah, I kind of want to exercise it and just make sure, like I know it worked because I just saw it work, but like, let's watch it work. And we should see a whole bunch of um, makes and then our images show and we're golden. Um, and then now if I refresh again, page loads pretty fast, nothing happens there. All good. Uh, yeah, less than a second, about a second, whatever. Sweet. Uh, I'm not gonna hit the console log here to print them out. So here's what I wanna do is if not, how do I do, oh, it, can you just bang it? Is that how you do PHP and tell it not? Okay, if this works, it's gonna be really slow and it's gonna say making gifts every time because it's, it's already, I just inverted the logic. Oh, it's funny. It's not. It's not flushing the output until it's made all the gifts. But it's making all the gifts right now. I think. Yep. Cool. So that inverted the logic. I just, like in Python, you can do if not. Um, but so now, because what I don't really need an empty if. But now I can just move all this stuff up here. I can drop this else because we don't need the empty else. And so again, everything's made right now, so that so nothing should show up in the log. It should load pretty quick. If I delete a couple images, let's delete those. Now we should see those images get built and come back. So there they are. And then we run it again. It's still empty because they've been built. Sweet. All right, we got it. So that's that's it. That was the that's that was the first thing that I wanted to do. Um, this stuff's not in a repo right now. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. I, I'll do that at some other point, but I want to look at it before I do it. And I'm not going to spend time on stream doing that. Um, right now, if I had it in a repo, that's where I would commit it. Um, it's not there. Let me make sure it's not there. I don't think I made one yet. Whoops. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it is in a repo. 
No, that's the wrong site. Uh... Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, that's not repo. Um, I'll do that at some point. Do, 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 do. I have Menomina in my head. I'm going to get a copyright strike for singing one bar of Menomina. Um, this is awesome. Um, so I'm, that's super cool. I'm not going to put PHP if exists or whatever. Like, I'm trying to figure out what level... Yeah, sure, why not? Um... Of course, what I'm doing is just giving myself a bunch more work. Uh, but it's cool. I like this. It's fun. So let's check it now for real. Boop. Oh, super fast. That's awesome. And then so it's still... And that, that shouldn't have affected any of the other thing. I love this one. Zoop. And there it is. And I can grab it and send it. Awesome. Uh, also, Moss. IT crowd, highly recommended. Okay, so actually we put a little, uh, we put some notes up here. I should have looked at the notes to start with. Um, what is this? So here's my coding. There we go. Don't rebuild images each time. Strike. You got it. I don't know. I figured I'd just, you know, be fun to watch progress for now. Uh, let's see. Now what we want to do. Uh, so what's so I size both width and height of the preview images to drop them into a square area. That actually should be pretty easy, but I want to see what else. Get some CSS going to make the display nicer. Get resize GIFs to animate. That's probably going to take a little time. Um, display file names for quick search. That's what I'm going to do. That's that's going to be the next things for me. Uh, and this is got to be easy to get to the file names. The formatting is the thing that I am unsure of. So I'm going to move this up just to kind of show what we're doing here. Um, Actually, just for fun for formatting. I did this on one of my other ones. We'll do this too. Uh, UL, oops, UL. All over the place. Uh, just, I think it'll be fun to watch the, um, the stuff, even though it actually pushes down. Uh, Dunzo. I don't know how it's called Dunzo, so we're just gonna say done. Like it actually pushes down the gifs, right? Uh, I mean the. When I'm doing it for real, I guess when I'm finished, they'll all be up there, and it'll be nicer to see. Uh, but yes, uh, so the the first one that I'm talking about is so like this image versus this image, like it's kind of neat that they're stair-stepped, but like it's a lot of white space. So one of the things I'm gonna do is, is move them all into a, a consistent size um, where the height and width gets constrained by whichever one hits the bounding box first, which will make sense when we do it. Um, but for right now, uh, I could move this to a different page. That'd be fine right there, for right now. Um, Actually, I should do that first. I'm just trying to think. Well, so no, let me do the names first, because like uh, the name, like searching for stuff is is gonna be faster. And like I I, I don't think, yeah, I'm probably do both of them tonight. Um, but so here's the. This is gonna be HTML and CSS stuff that I'm not as familiar with. Um, 
I mean, I used to do a lot of it, but that was, it's changed a lot since I did it. I, I haven't really done stuff since HTML5 is out. And I haven't done much CSS stuff. Um, Back in my day, we didn't have CSS. Um, so what is span HTML, right? That's not, so a div goes all the way across. Div. HTML span elements a generic line inline container for phrasing content. Does not inherently represent anything. It can be used to group elements for styling purposes. Come here, Mozilla. You are awesome. It's group elements for styling purposes. Uses or because of share. There's lang can be used. Span is an inline element. So I think this is going to work because I think the anchor tag, the A tag, is also an inline element. And so what's, because what's happening right now is, oh, actually, is this page dynamic? No, this page is hard coded to the width. One of these days I might fix that. Um, yeah, actually, so at some point we should do that. Um, so I'm going to add that to my Twitch ideas. Make launchpad pages responsive. I don't really need to do that because I look at them on my monitor and this is sized for my monitor and it's only on my monitor. But it would be a good exercise to make them responsive. Um, And that's what a lot of this stuff is for me too, is just, is exercise, is, is in learning, right? And, and both. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a span and we'll just see what happens. So here's our guest page. That, that organ's getting me a little bit. Uh, this is also refinement and versioning, right? I keep refining down. Uh, so if we just put a span here, right? Cause this is the echo which is probably better ways to do this too, but this is how we're doing it for now. Uh, if I refresh, does it, yeah, everything's still there. So now the question is, um, PHP, PYP, PHP, multi-line echo. Multi-line string with PHP. Okay, so you can just, you don't need to output PHP tags, what? PHP time D. Echo PHP, whoa, this is weird. I need to echo a lot of PHP and HTML. I have to try, or I tried the obvious, but it's not working. Oh, okay, so yeah, so that's not, how can I do it? Okay, well, here's the big trick that I'm looking for, which is kind of different than this other person was asking for, but. Uh, looks like we can just do that. So you can go across new lines and then you do dots if you need to um, concatenate, I guess. Though it's weird that it's a, there's a, yeah, okay, right, dots are concatenation. That just looked weird for some reason. Uh, also, I can, oh, okay, this is good too, because so I, I, I cheated a little bit when I originally did this. Um, and I put, I was putting double quotes on the outside and then single quotes on the inside, which isn't really what you're supposed to do with HTML. Um, because I think you need, let me actually do this just because I want to see if this is right. Echo, so in double quotes, if I just do the size path, which is, uh, oh, I actually just, that's fine. So we'll start with just a size path. I really only want the file name, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, so if I just echo this and I go to the right page, and then if I put that in single quotes, I'm guessing it just says GIF file every time. Yeah. So echo parses and, and 
processes the variable when in, in double quotes, but not in single quotes. So I want to keep it. Actually, I can move. Okay, so here's what I can do. I can move it to to double because I I want to keep. I want to stick with HTML and actually have these be double quotes in there. And I can do that by escaping them every time, but that's a pain. But what I can do is span. I'm just going to do this this way. So I've got my double quotes there. So this, and then put gif file in. And then this, this is ugly. There's got to be a better way to do this. PHP format output. Printf. Oh, it's got printf. That's printf. Output. And that should go return format to drink. Okay, yeah. So we'll say, do you print format string? I guess if you're doing echo, you should do you should get a string, and if you're doing print, you should just print. Here, let's try it. Oops, something's wrong. Okay, let's just make sure that we're back to where we were. Cool. So I'm just gonna play for a second. And print F here. There we go. Okay, so that's working. Now I'm curious if we just replace this with print F. Just want to see what happens here. It's gonna work. Okay, yeah, it still works. So print F is still processing stuff. I'm gonna re I'm gonna rebuild this. Like I, I don't like this one works. I could keep and so this is a thing that I've been doing more and more um, in my coding practice, uh, and it's it's based off of a kind of uh, uh, a thing that I have learned from Sandy Matz called staying one step away from green. Like this works. I need to make a, several changes to this, and so actually what I'm gonna do check this out is. We're gonna do this. Output string, right? It's fine. Um, so we've got working code. And actually I'm just gonna echo it for now. Echo output string, right? So this works, right? Cool. So now what I can do is I, I'm not gonna edit this. I'm gonna make a new thing and I'm going to edit this one because that way I'm always one step away from green. So can, I'm doing manual testing right now, but like if we had a test running on this, you can think about it the same way where I want to stay one step away from green. But if I change this and this and this and I do a printf and then I have to change the string and I have to put in several different variables like that's that's kind of all one change, but it's also kind of a lot to deal with and to keep in your head. And especially when you're doing like quotes and all that stuff. So now what I can do is just start building this piece by piece and I can always fall back to my, to the known good output string. So that's one step away from green, right? Um, and so the, the first thing I'm going to do is, is just copy this as is, right? So I've, I've got an, it's exactly the same thing. I test it. I make sure it's working. But now I've got one to play with. I've got one to play with, and I've got my my uh, home base, my safety net. Um, so now I got to figure out how I want to do this. So I, I think the way I'm going to do this. So printf just directly prints out s printf gives you a returns a string. So this should just work again. Nope. Hmm. Why did that work? What did I do? So again, like, if I just made five changes or whatever, but like, I, if I really need it to go, I'm like, okay, safety net back here. I can blow this away. No must, no fuss. Start over. S print F. Do I have the semicolon in the wrong place? I'm gonna have the semicolon in the wrong place. Let's see if I can see that. Oh, did I, I must not have put a... 
I didn't put a print on the end of it. Oh, whatever. We know this one works. So again, I, I'm in this one now because I've replaced this variable. So this is great. Um, I can flip back and forth or do whatever, but like, you know, whatever. We can prove that we're here. There's all our dashes. Okay. We good? We're good. Look how fast that is. It's so fast. I love it. Uh, so now what I want to try and do is replace... And again, I could, I could jump all through, through this stuff really quickly and easily just by banging through it, but I'm trying to do the process. And also I'm talking through it and like for folks who want to see how I think through this. So with S print F, here, we're gonna put S print F in here. I should move this to its own thing. I'm not gonna do that right now though. Um, or am I? Oh, hang on one second. I'm just opening an app that I haven't opened in a long time. I just want to make sure it's not like pointed at work stuff. Um, not that you would see anything, but like, just better not to. Uh, did we open that? That's the wrong thing. Uh, open this. Open this. Open this. Didn't open. There it goes. Uh, so this is the Atom editor because I don't have enough editors running right now. Uh, and all I want to do is just bring my... Oh, look at that. It does neat things with its Git coloring. It's also feel smooth. <laughs> Craziness. Live coding. Building Ghibli Part 2. Index. I need to close it in the other file so they don't fight. Just get rid of that. That's for now. There we go. Okay, cool. So now I can put my notes in one app and my code in the other. Ooh. I've also got VS Code on here too in case I need another. And Venom. I've got, I can be all over the place. Where were we? We were making GIFs. So we got it. So now what I want to do is just look at Sprint F because I don't remember it. Um, but what we can do with S print F or sprint F, I don't know how you, what the real thing is. Low placement character, no argument is required. Integer, blah, 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 blah. So where are the examples? Format, no location. I do it a little bit differently. Like I don't, I'm just going to put S, I'm just going to put all the stuff in there, but so We've got a format, and then you put your parens, which I'm just going to do strings, uh, percent uh, s, which is the argument is treated and presented as a string, um, with however many I need. So it's cool. Uh, so the way we're going to do this is I'm going to take this out right here because this is our first one, our gift file, gift file, and I'm going to paste this right here. And I will know that this is working if the thing still works. Like I, I could do something, I could put a piece of like test in there that let me see that where the change was happening. But by not seeing a change, if this works, because again, I'm one step away from green and I'm just using the same variable output. If this works and it doesn't change, then the thing that I did worked. And that's the thing that took me a while and still I have to like put effort into like remembering that like, this is okay. Like this thing worked, it's okay, it's it's doing its thing. Like that's, I kind of want to see it break first or see it change first. But like increasingly I'm just trying to go, okay, let's let's see if this is actually doing the thing and doing it. And again, if we had, t in, if there's automated tests, that's a little bit easier to do, but I'd still have problems with that idea for a while. Manual, same thing, but we're gonna try it. So here we go. Here we go. And it broke. Crap. Uh, right, and so back to green, I've got it. I'm comfortable with that. So I can I, now I can keep messing around in here. And what this lets me do, if, if something goes funky like that, I can make a whole, I can keep making changes in here. And I may be 10 changes down the road. 
and it still may not work and then I can bail. But when I bail, I immediately have this to fall back to. I don't have to try and remember what the code was. Um, and you can do the same thing with like commenting out a line or whatever, but like I like, I like that copy back there as my backstop um, when I'm making changes and stuff. Oh, here we go. Uh, I needed it, so I put the, not parentheses, percentage sign in, but I need to put an S behind it to let it know it's a, a string that's coming in. Let's see if that doesn't work. Hey, it works. And so now, sometimes what I actually do is like break it again on purpose to watch it break and then fix it just to do that. Uh, so we got that one. Now we know we want to do this one. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut this out. We're gonna give ourselves a percent sign and a string. Or an ask for string. We're gonna put that there. We're gonna rephrase that. Cool, nothing changed. So now we've got our, our base string going. Cool. Uh, and our span's in there. So now what I want to do, and, I, and all of that was actually in service of, I really like the, the purest in me wants double quotes right here instead of single quotes because that's actually what it's supposed to be for HTML. The single quotes work. Um, and for a while there's a debate about, they'd be, like they can both be okay, but like, and I'm pretty sure with HTML5, like it's defined as double quotes. But anyways, we can flip them now, which we could have done another way. Like I, you know, I could have done that weird thing where I closed it and then open, and then did that and then put the other thing in and then continued it and then reopened the th thing or whatever, like, but that's just ugly. Um, this, this S printf is way nicer. Uh, so double, 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 anybody else thinking double gum? Oops. Single. Now we get to check again. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause that for a second. That one's gotta go, but I wanna finish this first. So, all right, I think we should be good. Let's see what happens. Hey, we got images, everything's working. Huzzah. Cool, and so now, now what I do is now I delete this one, right? Cause I'm, I'm good. Like this, this works, I know that this is good. And the, the playing with, and so I, sometimes I will make, that backup one sometimes I won't. So what I'm about to do with like moving HTML around and doing that stuff, I'm not going to make another one of these strings. But like I may, I just made it a bunch of changes. Like you know, I, I pulled out two variables, put in two string variables, and I flipped quotes and moved it to sprintf. Like that's it's not a lot, a lot, but it's a lot. So that was a situation where it's like ah yeah I, I want the safety net and some of that just takes you know experience figuring out like when stuff breaks but like when in doubt move it to a variable and then re and then make another variable to copy and then work on the copy and then you've always got the one to fall back on it's it's one of the best like i did not used to do that um and it is that has saved me many a pain and many a tear um so we're good here i'm going to kill this song need a better way to do this because there's like 500 songs in here. Um, it's all the YouTube licensed music uh, for streaming, which I hope is okay to be on Twitch. But by the way, I'm going to be on YouTube soon, um, mainly because I don't want to have to continually download all the stuff from Twitch to then post on YouTube, which is where I do my hosting for the stuff that then goes on my blog for the VODs. It's a little bit too much information, but really what I'm trying to do right now is uh, stall while I find the song to kill. And then hopefully a new song comes up that's fine. It's called Joker. Let's see what happens when we hit play. Yeah, seems all right. Uh, cool. So now I got this. Now what I wanna do, so I've got my, I actually got my span in there. So, Oh, and what's also nice, so I think I can actually just do this, right? And it'll still just work because it's got, it's all just sitting inside that single quote. Um, oh, interesting. Did you see that little move? Watch this space in between uh, version one and version two of this GIF when we refresh. Ready? It's good to go. Close it up. Uh, 
That's because, so like right now, when this is outputting and it's going through all these lines, these quotes are exactly at the end of the HTML. And then the next piece of HTML, the next, the next loop starts. So um, if we look at the source code, if we look at the source code, oh, how do you get to just source? Not the, okay, this is the raw source, right? No, it's not. Um, original formatting, that's what I want. See, here's, here's all the stuff. And there's no spaces anywhere in between. So there's no, like there is no space in between the images. Like they're all completely butted up. But when, when we added these new lines, that is white space. Uh, and that's, so that's where you get those, those lines showing up. Um, which is actually like, I'm cool with that. Like it's actually a little bit nicer. And we're gonna, eventually we'll do CSS on it, but like a little bit of spacing is nice. So we'll leave that. So what can we do? Um, I think, and this is where I'm not so good at this stuff. There's probably better ways to do this, but I'm just gonna hit a break and I'm gonna put the standard, I don't know what the type letters in there. And I wanna see what happens here. I hope, oh, nope, that did not work. Oh, cause the break's going, right. The break is making a new line. How do I put it underneath? Um, there are people screaming at the screen right now. Uh, so how would you, Image label. Fig caps, okay. So this is one that I've, I've seen a little bit. Here we go, figure. This is what we're looking for. Uh, gotta love HTML5. And this is it, because I've seen this just a little bit, and this is what I was saying. I don't know as much about HTML5. So, um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make another copy again because I know that all I really need to do is put in this uh, string token and this string token. Like those are the two things. So I don't have to keep the rest of that that stuff in my mind. So I can just do this again and put in a blob here. Ooh, I should do alt text. Um, and then so my source is that first string. Oh, look, he did single quotes. Or single quotes allowed in HTML, a single double. I wanna see the HTML5 sec text. HTML5 attributes can be empty, single quote, double quote. Yeah, so you can do, you see, you can use them, but like, maybe I'm thinking of XML. I spent so much time doing XML. That must be it. I really, I, I thought, whatever. In my brain, they need to be double quotes. Also, we have a single quote as our actual outside quote marks, so they need to be double quotes. Um, so this one is our first string. Uh, we need an a href equals, oh, whoops, <laughs> I didn't need that. See, uh, I should have left it. See? All right, 
whatever. I don't like that. It should be double quotes. Do one thing. Do it well. We already got uh, S print F in there, right? Yeah, we can close that. I know what's going on there. Print F. I'm getting better about closing tabs. Um, I'm just gonna skip it and get it later. What was this? Span, no, we did the span. Span, here's what we want. So now we're gonna place this in here. And I'm gonna flip the quotes again. Just for now, what I'm gonna do. Oh, so uh, actually, this will be interesting. I think it's gonna work. So there's our. F well, these are gonna be backwards. Uh, I'm just gonna do this right now. I'm just gonna get them both in there and just make, see if this works. Oh, except it's not calling the. Oh, okay, hang on. I need that one to go first. Get rid of this. Let's see what happens. It explodes. What did I do? So again, I'm gonna just comment that out for a second, figure out what's going on. All right. Oh, I've got that ASDF in there. I'm gonna get rid of that. We don't need that. Okay, we're back to live. Um, see, again, I don't wanna get too far away from it working. I could also commit it to version control and then roll back or whatever, but like, I don't use version control as much as I should. Um, so let's figure out what's going on here. I think I see one problem, which is there's a quote here and not here. What's that gonna do? Okay, cool. Ah, there, there we go, look at that. Now there's still, it's still putting a break after this. I want them to be over. So figure image in line. Is that what we're looking for? Figure images on the same line. Uh, I was thinking about figure float left. My figure inline block. Yes, yeah, yeah, I thought it might be something like that. So we're just gonna throw this straight in here. Come back over here. Here we go. Perfect. Um, and so like this is actually this is a good enough start for me because what I basically what I want is um, or what I'm using is a real simple search here, which is find in the browser and then brain, right? So if I know that I'm looking for brain stuff. There we go. Um, or if I know that I'm looking for, um, you know, cage, there's my Nicholas Cage stuff. Um, so that's a super simple search, but it's more than what I've got right now. Um, but it's but I also know what some of these things are called. So when I'm looking for them in general, I've like I've got them in my head. Yeah, like so dance, right? Dance. Here's the dancing ones, and I can also Control G to keep moving through them. Um, so it's a super simple search. I don't care right now. Well, maybe I do. Um, yeah, so let's let's take this out. So like the file name is actually this, right? Is angry sand people person. Um, source is actually part of the path. So, all right, let's do a couple things before we do that. We're gonna do this. We're gonna upvote that, good on you. We're gonna share this. We're gonna move that into here. Got to close that. This is actually kind of nice because I'm getting my own notes as well. Um, we're going to upload that and we're going to share this here. Just want this music, man. Uh, right, caption our image. Yeah, cool. About a year ago. See, I'm not that far off. Oh, ask eight years ago. <laughs> 
Yeah, see, I'm a little bit out of, the, out of date. I need to just get, like, there's an HTML5 book or two out there that I should get and just kind of go through it. I'm actually going to... Oh, look at this. Wait, it just, it just said... Archive of obsolete content. Huh, whatever. Uh, this was for what? Oh, that was the SPNF stuff. That's for RDF, whatever, it's fine. Okay, close there. There we go. Back to back to basics. How do we make the font size go back? Whoops. That would have been the wrong button. And by would have been, I mean was. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, so what I want to do is I want to get rid of source there. Uh, just a little ugly. Like, functionally, oh man, I quit everything. I didn't. Um, functionally, no big deal, but like, yeah, pretty it up a little bit. Uh, so I've got, I've got the file path here. Uh, Oh yeah, so so let me do the other thing. So I've got this is all outputting properly, right? We're seeing it. We're seeing our names. Um, so now I can kill this one. I remove this over, just because you know, just because. Cool, cool. Um, so I've got the file name here, which is, I'm actually using the, yeah, that's what I'm using for the caption. Actually, uh, maybe I'll fix that in a second. Um, so all I, all I need is this, is to remove source from it. Um, so string, oh yeah, this will actually work. So I looked this up the other night. So string replace, all I really need to do is, um, I think, file name, let's call it gif file name, equals, we're gonna do a string replace again. This time we're gonna replace source with nothing. And then if we come down here and use this here, what do we get? We get the wrong replacement. Let's try here. There we go. Oh, we need the slash after it too. Can we throw a slash after that? Slash. Yep. There we go. Sweet. And just to make sure everything still works, we'll see our hacking dog. Whoops. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, and I deleted it. Oh, now's when I wish I had version control. Because there has to be a link here. I don't know if you put it around the image or around the figure. Oh, you probably want it around the figure. Whoops. Yep. So the thing is, even if I had had it in version control, I probably still would have done this because I'm not good at looking at version control stuff. Um, that's something I will work on on this stream. So. I know it goes to launch. I'm just looking over here. This is the file that it goes to, .php, and then I know that it's a git parameter of gif with the, um, hmm. Well, it was, so originally it was this, it was this. So it was this, I think. We'll see what happens. So re -re rerun that. Okay, they're, they're hot again. Yeah, so look at this, the figure, this is awesome. Um, Oh, there's a space underneath it. Why is that there? I bet. Is it because of that? See that little space or that little underscore showing up? Right in front? I don't like that. I'll have to figure that out later. But anyways, it's hot. The whole thing's hot. Uh, so try our dog. Uh-oh. Definitely broke it. Unless it's just taking a minute, but I think we broke it. Uh, 
get gif copy crap oh because i spelled the wrong thing here gif and also it needs a dollar sign there oh actually i shouldn't do that i should do i want to send another string and so now the order is important so one two three so i need to send gif file which is the full file not just the name Again, see that's a that should have been like source path or something. Um, but now let's see what happens. Who are we gotta do? How about Bruce Lee dipping out? There we go. Working again. Not the best way to have done through all that stuff, but it got us there. Sweet. I still understand why there's that underscore, oh, is it coming up from the previous one? Is it here? What's causing that? Yeah, it's something in the HTML somewhere. Oh, I get it. There's a white space. It's one of those white space things coming in here somewhere. Let's see which one does it. Assuming one's gonna do it. Okay, maybe this one. Okay, that last one. So that white space right there shows up um, as a little bit of, a little bit of underscore there. Um, So we'll just leave that and just to balance it, I'll do that. Um, that way the A and the figure or and the figure and the A are all symmetrical and I like that. Um, and so and the other thing we can do is put in our alt text. So again, note like I'm the only one who uses this, but still it's a good idea to or it's a it's a good practice to do alt text. So one, two, it's gonna be the third one, so one, two, three. We're gonna do that there. Oops. Oop. All righty. Um, how are we doing, data? We're doing all right. Got our files going. Cool. So that is another thing checked off the list, which is uh, display the file names for a quick search. Oops. lined up here right now. No, I don't need to do that. I need to do this. I need to do this. I need to do this. And have it all complete. Boop, making progress. Uh, how's the brain doing? Still working? Ah, it's so cool. I love it. I like I'm i I'm very pleased with how that is working. Um, it's really it's not this type of eye roll, I know everybody out there is going, oh god, whatever. Um, it's uh, makes me makes me a little bit like this guy, right, right here. Oh shit, there we go. There we go. See, it takes, sometimes it takes a second or two because the things work in, and I think if you fire it off quickly, it like uh, rolls itself back. I can't remember what that's called. Um, but anyways, cool. So pretend we're doing a git commit right now and have all this stuff checked in. Magically, we've done our git commit. All right, all right. Uh, cool, so now what I wanna do is deal with the sizing, deal with the resize stuff. Uh, so that's gonna be this one. Um, size width, width, the height, the previous drop into the square area. So this actually, Think. A little much right now. Also a little much right now. Yeah, I just feel like there needs to be some background stuff back there, but that's coming up to the foreground. 
image scale. So, well, the first thing to try is just what happens if we put 200, 200 in here. Nothing. Oh, aha, wait. Yes, nothing happened. Because our images are still sitting in the cache. And so when we ran through the process of looking at all the source images, it found all the cache images, so it didn't run the process. So in order for this to actually run, uh, we got to make them go away. Not the source ones, the, these ones. Maybe shouldn't have done all of them. Let's see what happens. It's going to take a few seconds. That was very fast, and it did not appear to do what I was expecting it to do. Okay, so now we go actually look at the documentation for image scale for PHP. Oops, let's find the browser. PHP, image scale. I've been here before. Image scale, resource image that we pass. Integer new height, optional inner, oh, sorry, width, which we did, integer height. That minus one might be if a minute, yeah, so the width is, so it scales on the width. And then it says the height to scale the image to, if omitted or negative, the value will width we reserve. So I don't know why that didn't. I would have expected that either one of those, like if it if the image was wider, it would have gone to 200 with whatever height. And if it was tall, it would have gone to 200 with whatever width. Um, that kind of surprises me. Oh, wow, there's no... Calculation was negative or omitted was fixed prior versions. The aspect ratio is not maintained correctly. There's no other documentation here. Look at that. Image scale scales an image using the interrelation. So why didn't that work? All right, so I want to—I just want to make real sure that these are going. So I'm gonna—I'm gonna change the size of the width to. Let's do the first bunch just to, to see. That time it went super fast. What is it? Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's two hundred by two hundred. Two hundred by two hundred. 200 by 200. Why then? Oh, is it cached on the browser? Crap. Safari does some crazy caching stuff. And sometimes you can't get around it. Whoa. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, I switched to reader view. That's what was going on there. I've made it angry. I'm just gonna get out of that tab. See, that's not really what's going on with the images. Um, this is frustrating with Safari sometimes. Uh, if we ref well, here, do this. See, those got resized to 100 by 100. The problem with this resize is it's only really letting me do like it's not it's not a smart enough resize. Um, oh, this kind of hurts my eyes to look at these. Uh, yeah, see this. This is what we should be seeing on. I don't know why spinning dancer shows up there.
Is there a space? In the oh, it's a capital S. I was wondering about that. Um, I haven't cleared the cache, so it's still gonna show up there. But like, yeah. So this isn't a smart resize because because what we want to have happen is if we if we if we have a two hundred by two hundred square, we want whatever size of the image hits first to be the one that set to, that determines the, the the other aspect. So if we've got a square and we've got a wide image, when the when the width hits two hundred, the height goes to whatever the height's going to be. You can think about it as like just a few pixels. And if we've got a tall image, it would hit 200 height first before 200 width did, but it would then just have whatever width. But when we just hold it 200 by 200, it stretched the width and the height, or one of them fit, and then the other one got stretched to be it. Um, and that is not at all what we want. That's awful. Um, but the trick is, it doesn't look like this has another option. Yeah, but that's, I think, um, PHP animated GIF. I'm not sure animated. See, I don't think I don't think this is going to be the right way to do it anyways. Um, because I don't think that image resize can do, can deal with, um, GD is the graphic dimensions library. I don't know. Um, resize animated GIF. Actually, let's not even do GD. Let's just do PHP resize animated GIF. I think we're gonna have to call out something else. Yeah, if you have access to image magic, you can do this. If you don't have an image magic, you should be able to use a combination of the following steps to resize an animated GIF. So you have GD. Detect if it's an animated GIF. Split the animated GIF into individual frames. Resize the individual frames. Recompose the frames into an animated GIF again. If you get this working, please share with the world. Nobody actually wrote back in to do that. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to call it the image magic. Uh, Cause I've got, yeah, I've got image magic. So, um, if I have image, you can do this, convert size 200, 200 curl less resize. But here, so let's let's do let's do this. We're gonna do um, uh, so we're gonna go to our desktop. Why does Word just leave crap everywhere? Can I kill that? Good lord. Um, oh, stupid. So we're gonna go, is our scratch pad here? Uh, GIF resize test. Open. So, I'm not going to mess with the PHP part of this until so I'm going to use image magic to do this resize. 
I'm just going to call out from PHP to image magic and just be done with it. Um, but it's going to take me a little while to figure out the image magic calls. And I don't want to have to be in the web page to do that. So I'm just going to run out to the command line, do it, and just find a GIF and just run it that way. Um, so uh, the most important thing of this entire process uh, is going to be finding the right GIF to do. Oh, see, now the, now the cache cleared. Um, and you're seeing the, the different image sizes. Um, I think this is going to be a perfect GIF to do with this. So you are going to go here for now. And then you're going to, well, I've got a bunch of the things. Oh, it, it repopped the, uh, repopped the folder for me when I, um, when I took the file out as well as putting it in and it did it again. I don't know why. I hope it doesn't keep doing that. That would be disturbing. Um, all right, cool. So, so we've got our, we've got our target GIF here. Um, resize with image magic. So this is another thing that I've got with my, uh, book of magic here. By default, resizing fits into fine canvas area. So a square that's 100 fixes will become 500 by 500 resize it. Convert to that. Resize to one dimension. To resize an image based on height. Yeah, see, this is what we want. Or based on width. This is what we're looking for right here. Uh, let's actually just type it. Convert. Convert. Send it. Resize 200x output that GIF. So yeah, see 200 by 150, which will be the same aspect ratio as this 483 by 60. Um, breaks up there a little bit, doesn't it? Oop, where's that going? definitely breaks up, but you know what? Don't care. This is just like, these are my previews. Like I'm sure there's a way to do better with that. Um, but I just need to be able to, I just want them to move, you know, so right now, uh, they aren't moving. Like they just, when it, when PHP's, um, watch my thing, image sizer made them, it turned animated GIFs into static GIFs. Um, and just picked some frame, maybe the first one, I don't know. Uh, so I just want them to move. I don't care if they're a little janky, like that's fine. Um, the cool thing is we had some notes to do that. And let me, I'll just go ahead and put that in our notes. You can go like, so, Let's just see how long it would have taken us to get there. So here's here's the trick. Is the other thing with Image Magic is it does all this stuff. So the reason I keep my notes the way that I do is so that I don't have to go through all this to figure out what the thing is that I want to be able to do. Like I and like I could I'm sure somewhere in here there's ways to like make that gift better or do whatever, but like right now I just want the thing to go. And so this is all, you know, this is the, this is usage resize. Um, and actually, I wonder what convert it looks like. Now, I'm sure, oh, I did not have it. Um, I'm sure there are other image magic, smashing, DigitalOcean, PHP. Like, I'm actually super surprised there's not a, um, here's the first stack overflow. Oh, and this is for batch resizing. Um, more Grafi, yeah, see, this is like, even the first stack overflow thing is not what I wanted. So it, it took, I just, I remember it took me a little while to dig in and not like a, days or anything, but just took a little while to find that. So that's the reason for, uh, for the, for the NV alt. So now let's see if we can get that to run. Um, so this, this is the code where we're doing that resize stuff, these lines, right? Um, cause we, we pulled this out to check if the file size exists. So we know this is the code that does it. So, to start with, again, I'm just going to mush that stuff out 
Um, and then we're going to go here. I need a one button skipper. I mean, it's actually one button because the mouse is hovering over the thing. But um, let's go ahead. And get rid of a few of these, not all of them, because we don't need to, because again, we're going to test it here and see if, what goes. Uh, we know the command works. Now it's just a matter of doing it. And so, yeah, system convert. So we should just be able to do this and drop in our, drop in our version of the command. Which is just resize, yeah, which is just resize um, to thing. Um, and, and so this is another thing I'm going to do. Uh, I like assembling things now. Like I've gotten used to it in Python. So oops, should be there, guys. You don't have to do this again. It's just kind of it feels like the right thing because I don't know makes it like it makes it a little easier for me to see and read. Um, and so we're gonna move the second one's gonna be the resize path. The first one's gonna be the gift file. And see that should have been gift that should have been gift file path. Um, and let's turn up. Yes, our log's still on. So let's come back here. Let's open up our log. Go to our console and reload. We exploded. Server signed with a 404. Made him. Resize cache. Wait, so 1 million dash 2, but it says it got a 404 for 1 million dash 2. I wonder where they went. So let's do this. Uh, before we do that, uh, resize. That pasted ugly. Uh, underscore log. Size command. It's a good job with autocomplete. Source, resize, resize cache. Why didn't that work? Um, so if we just do system by itself and just hard code one of those, still getting a 404 for it. have to have full file paths. Actually, let's do this. So I want to see if it tells us uh, console log get CWD. Oh, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. 
get current working directory. Did not put anything. Oh yeah, here it is. Yeah, it's in Prodsless GIFs, it's in there. So this is the working directory, so source should be there, and then cache should be there. Oh, I wonder, hang on, let's try this. Print working directory from system call. Whoops, yes, I know. And it's still got the same directory. Why is that working? Convert, resize. The source is still there, right? I didn't delete the source. Here's the source. Ooh. Here's the resize cache. What if we do this? Test, test, source. I'm just throwing code everywhere. This is not the best way to do it, but I'm, this is kind of how I used to do PHP when I did PHP years ago, and so old habits die hard. image for me. Oh, we had the command. The command was so easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm trying to do the screen res for um, for smaller screens, but I'm not really sure where to draw it. Like I've got a, a 24 inch monitor or whatever, but I'm in a window that's in the middle of it that's about yay big, because uh, I'm trying to make the fonts readable. Uh, is it crazy or is it, I haven't, I'm not really sure where to go with it. Like, cause sometimes I'm looking on a smaller monitor and like, it looks fine, but then you blow it up and just like, Jesus. So I don't know. Uh, welcome for feedback though. Um, why the hell isn't that working? So the, our command works, right? Uh, where am I going? Uh, launchpad, HTML, yes, GIFs, yes. So let's test our command and just make sure we're not doing something silly with the command. That worked. Um, why isn't that working? Oh, by the way, so if it let me know if it's fuzzy. Like, is it just big or is it actually fuzzy too? Because um, I'm going through a different capture card. And I'm not really sure. Uh, if it if it looks fuzzy, that's one thing. If it's just giant, that's another. Um, Is there also, let's exec, let's try that. What are you gonna do? All right, so we cleared that. That's the wrong page. All right, those all exploded, but that's okay because we're hard coding one right now. Still didn't work, what the hell? options. Alright, we get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that.
Uh, let me get what? Let me get rid of that in the code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of these. Like. I've got system access, right? It's because, like, I mean, I guess we can check that and we can touch a file. Okay, so there's that. So we're talking to the system. What if we pass it the full files, maybe, or the full path? I think that's it. Uh, let's go back to system. Copy and paste this, this still works, right? That works. So, what is going on? Um, where do we see error log for PHP? Where's my map? out for one second. Actually, let's do this. I don't think there's anything crazy in the error logs, but they're error logs, so. This is gonna be boring as hell right now. I just gotta figure out why this, like, where the error logs are for this. Good lord, VS Code, what are you doing? Uh, applications. I mean, map. September 23rd, that's today. Call to finish up, yeah, see, these are all fine. This is all stuff, parse error, syntax error, we did this. It's not throwing an error.
Mm, that's frustrating. <sighs> Let's see. Let me close some of this stuff just to get it actually out of the way. Execute and pass through. Okay, let's see what pass through does. Uh, is that going to do anything? Nope. Still not there. Shit. And that didn't make anything, right? Picked a good time to have somebody show up. <laughs> Love it. All right. Hang on a second. Let me just make sure it's not freaking out. Because it's there. Let's put it all the way up here. note for me to make sure I get rid of that. All right. Still didn't make it. What the hell? That doesn't make any sense. Because the exact same command Oh, wait a minute. I wonder if we pass it the full... Try that. I mean, it seems like it should be throwing an error or doing something. Oh my god. Okay, it wasn't on its path. Okay, that makes sense. Except it doesn't. I mean, I guess it does. So we needed the full path there. Okay, cool. We can back into that. So there's that, here's this, resize command, we're gonna go the full path to convert with our resize there, so we're gonna comment that out for a second. Uh, not gonna need that one, but that should, that should make them. In our right side, yeah, so that's our command. All right, what's that gonna do? Oh, come on, you. Um. Okay, we know it works. Whoops. Then get rid of that test. So now we can get in here and see what's going on. Oh, I'm not actually running the command. Ha! <laughs> That's why. Let's try this. System. Resize command. It's taken a while. That's a good sign. It's taking a long time. But I, actually, that's probably an okay sign because... Hey! hey, hey! Images! Look at that. Yeah, they're totally freaked out. And why is that one still there? All right, hang on. I'm gonna get rid of that one because it always throws me. Where's the spinny lady? Oh, too late. So are these now sized properly? No, they are not. But is that because... No, it didn't size them. Okay, uh, that wasn't the right thing. Well, is it just that you do... Okay, hang on, let's try this. So we're gonna burn these. 
isn't Tragic just smart? We think maybe. Sorry, I was not paying attention. Okay, I don't trust that. Oh, yeah, so no, that got resized. Oh, okay, this is what we want. This is what we want. So this got sized down to 200. High. Um, here, actually, we can do this. Boop, open it. Oh, and look how fast that went. Cool. So this is going to be 200 high. No, it's not. What the hell? Two hundred by two hundred. Why is that not? Well, that doesn't make any sense at all. Neither one of those numbers is two hundred. What? How about this one? See, okay, 200 by 155. See, that's good. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, did I do that one earlier? These are 200s. Oh, 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 I don't think I did that one. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's do a full, full reset here. Except Photoshop's trying to open, so. Stand by. All right. Clear the pipes. Light it up. Let it process for a little while. Yeah, so this is going to take way longer. This is even more of a reason why you'd want to, why the caching is important. So the, the first one that was using the PHP move just resized effectively one frame of the GIF. This is resizing all the frames and some other stuff in there, I'm sure. But like, um, still wasn't that bad. And so now I'm going to go, I don't trust this. So I'm going to go to Firefox. I'm going to refresh this. And it should pull all, why is that taking a long time? I don't trust it. That's better. Ooh, that's trippy. Wait a minute, that still looks too tall. Wow, these are all really trippy now. The heights are looking better, but that that cat one still feels wrong. I thought I renamed that. So I want it in the right, nope. All right, let's find our cat. What's our cat called? Abduction cat. One thirteen by two hundred. Okay, good, good, good. Everything's looking at two hundreds. Everything's coming up two hundreds. Two hundred, two hundred, two hundred. That one's actually square. Okay, so now the width or the height. Okay, so that's I really like Image Magic. Um, it's smart enough to know when you give it a two hundred by two hundred to just fit it in that area and to not mush it or squeeze it or stretch it. Um, that's it. Okay, that got that. That's got our sizing and that's got our. Uh, animation going. Why did it only do that many? That was weird. We'll do 
this. We're going to share this. And we'll actually grab our line of code. How's this doing? Yeah, okay, so this is taking a little while. That's fine. What? Now what's going on? Why is it stopping at apprehension cap? Here's your source. Here's a whole bunch of files. Here's our cache. It only has 42 files. Why does that only have 42 files? Is there a timeout thing going on? And shouldn't it make more progress each time? Oh, I wonder if I freaked it out by running it in two different places. All right, we're gonna back off this, we're gonna back off this, we're gonna back off this. Hey, look, we only got one tab open, that's amazing. Um, Let's give this one more try. All right, everything's clear. We're just gonna fire this up in one place and give it all the time it needs and see what happens. Sixteen images so far. Eighteen. We're still making progress. Has it, it's still loading? Okay, that's good. It's still processing. It checked out. Angry Tom. I think that's maybe a different place. But there's still all these other images here. Ah, crap! Come on. What's going on? Resize file name, good file name, good file name. Um, so if it it's looking... For our GIF files, Let's make a that, that's fine. Give a resize file path. If we find it, we're making the image. Uh, that should happen for everything because it's not in the conditional. So, oops. It says it only made it that far, which it did. Angry Tom, Angry Tom. So that's where it went down to. Uh, where is the, what am I looking for? Uh, sort of. Uh, it choked out an Angry Tom. Image source, resize cache, angry time, angry. Yeah, so the whole the whole file stopped. Pro something ate it right there. Um, question is what? But it's weird because like it made it made the next image. I don't understand this. If we refresh, what happens? In that console.
Oh. But, well, no, see, it made... It made more. And it made it down there. Is there a PHP timeout? I mean, it seems like a... Sets a number of script. This has reached the script. Returns a fatal error. Limits the maximum. So I want to see if it already is. That sets. The default is 30. So that wasn't taking 30 seconds, was it? Where's my errors? I'm not seeing any more errors. All right, so I think I'm just gonna... All right, I just wanna see something. I, if this, if it just makes progress every time clock. Oh, here we go. Execution time. That's what it is, isn't it? It's hitting a 30 second timeout. Weirdly, it still thinks it's running, but it aren't. Stop page load timing. But that was about 30 seconds when it choked, right? So, okay, so let's see. Let's just tell it through every loop. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Um, to jump to 30 seconds again. Because if that, so if it's got a 30 second timeout, but I can keep moving it forward after every loop, assuming it doesn't, well, yeah, so then it would just keep going and keep pushing itself forward. So it's like it keeps moving the goalpost or the error post. Um, just for fun, I want to clear all these before we try this, because I want to give it the hard test. Oh, it's still run. Something's still running. It's still making them. So it delivered back the HTML, but the process is still running. That's messed up. Or did it fire him off asynchronously? Because it's still... It's not up in Firefox or anything, is it now? Oh, that's spooky. What I don't understand is how, if it's doing this, then it should have slammed through all of them and then given me back the full piece of HTML. That's a little bit concerning. I'm not gonna lie that the thing's dead, but, um, cause I don't have it anywhere else, right? Nope. Actually, if I quit Safari, what's gonna happen? Do I have anything else running? That's going to explode? I don't think so. So there's 35 of them. I just quit Safari.
And that looks to have stopped it. But I don't know if it had just died anyways. All right, so whatever. We've got that timeout limit in there. That's just weird. Safari is being updated. That makes me nervous. I don't know why. I might have just broke it. I wonder if it's hung somewhere in the back. I'll bet something's hung. Yeah, I'll bet there's still a thread on there that's got it, that's hooked into it, and that's triggering that warning. Um. This is all kinds of trickiness that I didn't think was going to happen. Uh, it doesn't look like anything's going. I'm going to have to reboot. I shouldn't have quit it. All right, well, let's see what happens in Firefox. All right, let's see what happens. Machine's probably already in an unstable state. Let's just keep firing at it, see what happens. All right, so this doesn't have a execution timeout. I'm gonna have to reboot. Oh, that sucks. Oh, 19 days and I gotta have to reboot. Okay, see. It hit an angry Tom again. But it's still making them. And like, this is still going. Oh, I can't get to Safari, because it is doing that. Um, okay, well, try another browser. PHP buffer, maybe. Output buffering, set file buffer. So let's, hmm, that's interesting. Let's see if it makes all the GIFs. So it stopped at Brain Explode right here. At 46. Oh, it's still, it's still processing. It just, it continued to send back HTML. So it's just buffering. 52, okay, so it's just taking a long time, okay. I was impatient. So it's making a bunch of images and sending back that portion of the HTML and it's making more images and, and building the HTML, but then sends it as a chunk. So that's why I was seeing the page stop at Angry Tom, but when I looked in the file directory, there was a bunch more files because they were still being built and the HTML was being assembled, and then it chunked over. So maybe this is just gonna do it. Yeah, because we're at 82 items now. 84, okay, so we're still going up. I'm just not gonna touch it. Cause it's still, it, it's still pulling down. It's still connecting. And I think is while it keeps, while the server and the PHP keep pushing stuff to the browser, it's going to be okay. I don't know if the browser has a timeout though, where it's basically going to 
say, screw off, um, you've taken too long, even though it keeps sending content. Um, there used to be some long polling stuff and some other stuff like that. And like, I, this isn't using WebSockets. So like, I don't know, I don't know how this behavior is going to work. Um, I do like the fact that all the images are sized properly and set up. And so they're all within the same, they're all the same width, which we already had, but now they all have the same max height. Um, the next, one of the next steps is going to be to get them so that they're all in the same size window. So in 200 by 200 windows. Um, cause right now, like none of these images were taller than they were wide. So the tallest one is like one of these two. So the height of this row is less than the height of this row. And really what I want is the height of all the rows to be the same. Um, and then, so, and then we'll center up the, the images inside the middle of the, of kind of the, the square display area. Um, yeah, and also the other thing that that will do is so like this this image was taller than it was wide, so it's the width is less than two hundred, but then that causes th this image and this image to not be lined up with the ones above it. So the the getting squares and getting everything lined up with inside the squares will keep a will keep an actual grid instead of having some like movement up and down, um, which isn't awful, but like it's visually easier and nicer. Um, to have uh, to have it go. So, uh, all right, we're down to Tony Stark in the E's. Yep, so we're through our E's. That was up here, and so we've got a bunch more. 129. Yeah. So, let's see if Safari wants to come back to life yet. Nope, it does. Oh, yep. Nope. Safari is being updated. Yeah. So when I quit it, while that was going on, I hope I didn't ruin it for real. Um, it should just be memory stuff. Um, but I, when I got it, it it uh, it, it really freaked it out. Um, I was like, yeah, I thought abandoned cat was or abduction cat was down here, but that spinning dancer was out of place. Um, oh, that underscore is back. Oh, no, that, that's because he's underscore Luke. Right, sorry, that, that's literally the, the name that I put in there. Um, and so I can't click on any of these right now because it would actually jump to the page that gives me the GIF and then jump back to this one, which would be probably bad news. Um, but I don't know if, if, like, if execution on the stuff, I'm not going to try it. Like, this is... This is working. Um, I and so when I put in a new GIF, it'll take a second or two to load the page because it'll be firing that up. So actually, what I could do, I could actually make. So this is running off of the browser, but I could actually build a little um, launch Descript, basically a cron or just a, a folder watcher, cron tab, cron tab. Um, or just a folder watcher to actually watch it whenever I drop a new GIF in, just automatically make it. So like, because right now I'm basically, I'm, I'm setting up the cache whenever I hit the page. This would be, I, you would call it pre-warming the cache um, to, so I, I can do that as well. I'm, that's, I've got other projects that I want to work on, but like depending on how this goes, um, like if, if I get frustrated with this, that would be another thing to do. Like if I, but if, but like, yeah, like if I drop in a whole bunch of images, I, I, like it's gonna have to process either way, but like it could be doing it in the background. Um, yeah, that's interesting. That might not take a tremendous amount of work. Um, hmm, I'll have to think about that. Uh, like I, part of me's like, I bet I could do it in the time it takes for this to finish. Uh, that's not really true. Um, could you do, so all you'd have to do, you'd have to do the same thing and just parse over the full, like I've already got the code. I'm not going to try this. I'm just doing the mental exercise. I've already got the launch D script that does a folder watch and calls out to bash. So you, like if I was re, actually, if I was good at bash and knew how to easily loop over a file thing and send that as arguments to another command you could do this. Um, like it, it's all possible with bash. Um, and that might actually, that'd be an interesting, um, 
an interesting thing to try just to see. Um, make a bash launch the script resize to make thumbnail cache for get page. Cool. It's working. I, like I'm, I'm happy with this. Uh, and so we also saw earlier that when the when the cache images exist, there goes Joe's got more. When the cache images exist, um, it skips over them, so it doesn't spend all this time, and the page loads, you know, lickety split. Uh, maybe not quite that fast, but it's pretty fast, um, just because there's a bunch of images on it. Well, and so it'll be interesting too, like it's having to render all the images for one, but it's also having to make decisions about where to place them. Uh, I wonder if we did like a more explicit placement, if that would speed it up. It's fast enough as it is. I may mess around with that at some point, but whatever. Um, but so we can actually go ahead. Uh, I'm not going to touch that. Um, yeah, so, so far we've got We've got our names, we've got them sized, and we've got them animated. So that's three things off the checklist tonight. That's pretty awesome. Um, I may go a little bit longer. Um, but what I'm going to do right now is take a quick break. I um, wonder what, so I don't know, what's a good be right back? How about this? Is there big text? Be right back. Cool. Be right back. Did it finish? I should turn the music up. Oh, still going. All right. Where are we? I'm showing you. Ooh, don't do anything stupid. Shut up and take my money. I'm showing you all my gifts. Well, not all of them. I got a bunch of other ones. Um. Yeah, I'm thinking about, I know I'm gonna get a thing later. Um, I'm just thinking about, ooh, that's hot in it on the mic. Bring it down a little bit more. I need to do some testing on this a little bit. That's even better, all right. Um,
368 out of 380. Okay, we're almost there. I'm just thinking a little bit about that script, about that possible script to to do the moves. Um, and like, I don't know. Oh, I'm not. I can't fire up Safari. I've got it in my hands to do my hotkeys to get to Safari, but that's all I get. Oh, stop loading. We got down to our zombie. Zombie in our source. Hooray, 380 and should be 380, right? 380. Cool. So now, moment of truth. Ooh, actually, let's make a whole new window. Close this. Make a new window. Paste it. Boop. Loading, 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 but like it's already there. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. So now we can cross that off the list. Where is our this? Uh, size, width, and height. Got it. Um, it's funny that it flashes all the rest of that stuff because there's no, there's no pre-information about where to render stuff. So, uh, and that's what I was thinking about the, um, about potentially making it render faster, but like, I mean, that's plenty fast. Um, but let's also check and see if it still works. Who we're going to test it with. We're going to test it with Bruce and... It popped, there we go. Ready to send. Yeah, get it, Bruce. Uh, sweet, so let's see, what else? Um, oh, yeah, we actually did another one. Uh, get resized gifts to animate. We did that, did I scratch that off? Don't rebuild each image each time. Display file names. Yeah, technically that was here. I'm kind of liking this, putting this stuff in right now, just to see like the little progress of doing it. Except when we refresh it, there we go. Uh, get some CSS to make the display nicer. EXFI data for searching, that would be interesting. Log which images are used, eh. Present random images at the top each time the page loads. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, if XF data works, yeah. Set up an option to resize giant gifts down. It's outside the scope. Uh, performance comes an issue, do some pagination, which, so I wasn't sure, like, cause like on Giphy and Giphy Cat and those things, I like page load, like the page slows down and gets all bogged down and like messes up. But I think that's just the coding on the back of their, the way that they're doing stuff. And I'm, I'm increasingly sure of that cause I've got 300 images right here Oh, it takes a, yeah, so it takes a little while to scroll, get, get them all scrolled down. Um, but the, but the page, like the page is not bogged. Like it's, it's scrolling fine. It's working fine. Um, with, on Giphy and stuff, like a bunch of times I'll be scrolling and it just goes, um, anyway, set up code highlighting on the site for each language. What? Oh, that's in the wrong place. That is for my general ideas. Switch ideas, that's this. All right, I'll put that up here for right now. Um, uh, where is, I think it was in this one. It was the first one. Um, so I have, what, I'm, what that means is like I want to have this stuff actually have code highlighting in it instead of just being black text. Um, so when you refresh that, that should go away. 
Make tags and filters load. Yeah. Okay. Um. Ten. Been going for how long? A couple hours now. We got three things accomplished. Um. Two and a half hours. Yeah. That'll do it. Uh. Part of me wants to keep going on some CSS stuff. Yeah. What do you think? Um, everybody in the chat says S keep going longer or they say stop it's it's Schrodinger's chat ooh that's not bad <laughs> um, alright yeah let's do it for a second also, oh it's a neighbor taking out recycling is what that noise was kind of freaked me out um, yeah I don't care like this is all fine uh, so Cool. Yeah, we're just gonna we'll play with a little CSS. Now this is gonna be probably pretty awful. I'm just gonna be looking for stuff to copy. Um, good lord, they disappeared. Jesus. Um, how do we set? Where do I set my home page? Um. Launchpad. It's one of the reasons I do the launchpad thing is I don't like, I don't need to see that crap. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, blank page. Fine. I'll take it. Why can't, see, that's so silly. Why doesn't, why can't I make it go to the home page when I open a new tab? It either goes to Firefox home or a blank page. And yet, oh wait, homepage and new windows, why? Oh, and new windows. Also, it's not us. Okay, this is so stupid. New window, it goes to Launchpad. New tab, nope, you can't do that. How does that make sense? The answer is it does not. Uh, anyways, I'll take a blank page over it any day. So, uh, the CSS cookbook. All right, this is not, this is, I'm just going to be kind of all over the place now. Not that I wasn't already, but, um, when did this come out? Show me a date. See, 2010, that's 10 years old, but I want like the way that I learned computer programming was with the Perl cookbook. So I really want a CSS cookbook, but I don't want one that's 10 years old because I'm pretty sure there've been some changes. Um. And like, I get it, it's hard to do a book. Like there's so much stuff online, like, this is layout cookbook. Go away. Um, that's gotta go. Actually, the song's not bad. I just don't like to start. Eh, we'll let it slide for a minute. Um, this, however, might be really worth looking at. Uh, so what do we need? CSS make squares. How to create different shapes of CSS, all right. How to create a responsive sphere. Yeah, so this, this is just gonna be me looking at CSS stuff. Like I just I don't have enough of a grounding in it. Um, so that was the main part of the coding. This is going to be me looking around a bunch. Um, just I, if you're into that, cool. Uh, so style square div square. So how? But I want to. Oh, okay. Well, this is interesting. Hang on a second. 
I really I need to remember what this does. I don't remember what that does. Uh, yeah, I think I I think I showed in the other stream the template that I use for all this stuff, I built in 2011. Um, apparently I modified it in 2005 but, or 15, but I think I was just a little bit of stuff, but like I haven't touched it in five years and I built it nine years ago. So I need to, uh, need to maybe brush up on some of that stuff, which is part of what I'm doing here. So I don't know, let's give this a shot. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna move this to the first tab because that's what we're working on. This here. And I'm just going to try putting in... So that's a figure. Class equals square. See what happens. However, that's super, that's awesome is what that is. Uh, also, I like the fact that the browser is actually not freak, like it's not choking, like it's all over the place with a whole bunch of animated GIFs stacked on top of each other and it's still able to figure out what it's doing scrolling. So that's a good sign. Uh, but what actually happens now if we make that 200 to 200? and give those the size of the images. I don't understand what's happening. Okay, 200 by 220. I'm just kind of throwing stuff at it. So I don't understand why it's doing this little dippy do. Oh, I can't, maybe, no. Yeah, okay, yeah, I do. It's hitting, so it's starting, it's starting at the top of each image. But the images are baselined with each other. So that's where the gray boxes are coming in. So all, all the images have the, the same baseline. And then they go up from the baseline, however high they go. And then the, square kicks down from that top. Interesting. Uh, all right, that's interesting. We're not gonna, we're not, uh, so, interesting. I'm gonna take this out for now. Well, actually, I wonder what happens if we put that over here on the, Anchor tag. I just don't have a good mental concept of what this stuff does. Oops, that got crazy. Uh, is this doing what? No, it's because it's, it's still just the height of whatever the other one is. Or it's the, the height of the tallest one is what's setting the setting the height. Because um, like this is this is shorter because it's it hits the width. Um, okay. So interesting. Oh I didn't uh while we're here. Nope. Nope. Wait, why didn't it strike? So I didn't spell strike right, mainly. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna pull that for now. Oops, that didn't work. Crap. Sonic Pogo, gotta go.
please make it go fast. What's gonna be funny one is if I get copyright strikes because it YouTube sees all these images of shows and it just nukes me like my account's just gone. Um, so this is where I feel like I need to like just start from scratch, like because I can keep bouncing around and doing stuff, but it's like I I kind of need to like learn CSS, that's what it amounts to. Um, and I don't mean that dismissively, I mean, it's just not the thing that I've been doing. Um, wait, this is kind of what we did with 100 Oh, it's easy to create a square. Yeah, but the square was like all over the place. What if we put a span around it? A span around the figure? I don't know if that's... Yeah, so, so I, there's whatever, there's people I could talk to and ask about this that I know. Um, but like part of this for me is also figuring stuff out. Yes, yeah, so it's still not, still not doing it. Um, so like this is just punching around, seeing what's happening. So how, but how, hmm. So we're in a figure. Why isn't, why didn't that have, I'm confused. Let's make this 200 again, just to get it back to an actual square. So the figure, Options, height property. That's div. Um, yeah, figure, figure caption. Is min width 150 image class scaled the option at the top I'm not worried about HTML4 I'm not worried about HTML4 I've been on this page before this is a good page I'm just going to add that to the general notes. Well, you know what? Hmm, except then you'd have to do. I was gonna say I could just throw it in a table. CSS image inside square. I don't want a div. Uh, 
Well, that's a lot of craziness. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Object fit does the magic. All right, zero mortis. You gotta go. What if? See, this is gonna be just messing around with CSS. Oh, however, this looks interesting. But it's in divs. Oh, but hang on, it's got the divs moving over. Object, how does he make the divs class image? Weird naming for me. Yeah, so these images are loading in that way. I would have, how is that happening with a div? I mean, I know there's some ways you can do that, but it doesn't look like any of those ways are happening that I know of. Image class width 100%. Sounds like a news broadcast. So this is one of those where I kind of want each one of these things individually without all the rest of the stuff in it, which you, which you kind of have, but Oh, it says newsroom news. Okay. <laughs> well, well played. All right. So original image is here. Fill, contain, cover, none, scale down. So we want contain, object fit contain. But you still have to set the div image size, the ditch to image, so 160 by 160. Oh yeah, so I guess floating is what makes them do that, I guess. In child second, in plus one, margin right. Yeah, it's just padding stuff? I don't know what that is. I don't totally understand this. So we're gonna start typing code and see what happens. So we've got this, so like this dot square class is on the figure. T 
So once again, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that stuff there because I'm so that way I know I got it. I'm gonna move here so, so I can start playing around with stuff. Um, I'm gonna drop the A just to get out of the way, and that was the first one here. So I'm gonna drop this. Actually, I'm gonna just drop all of it and put a dash there for a second. So let's bring you out here. Is Safari back alive? Let's not even bring up the air vessel. Oh wait! What's new in Safari? Maybe it really was updating. Huh. Okay, that was just really weird timing. That's what that was. I don't know why my bookmarks are showing. I don't want my bookmarks to show. I don't want my bookmarks stop showing. I have bookmarks. Okay. Well, would you look at that? Why well, go super fast when there's no gifts to load? Okay. We're going to play around with this just a little bit and we'll see what's happen. happening. Uh, so I get rid of this one now. Where's the other window? Let's go over here. So I'm just going to copy and paste to start with. Why not scrolling? Oh, so that's the wrong window. So the one that we think we want is contain. So instead of trying to mess with my code, I'm gonna copy and paste this. And then we're gonna see what happens. Cause that way it's on my it's on my page, right? But I've got a, sh but now I've got a shot at kind of doing it. But I'm not messing, I'm not messing with the stuff. Like again, I can, I can just immediately fall back. If I, like if I want this to actually work on this page, like, ta da! Oh, uh, I need to see. Actually, I should have, I should have done this before I even mess with that. I should just left it there. That's it. Um, That's uh, fine. Safari didn't have a lot of stuff in cache, but still pretty fast. Um, we're just going to bring this over to Safari. I don't know why there's a star there. This is my favorite. My own page? I don't know. Uh, So we've got object contain. We're gonna take object contain. I'm gonna comment this back out for a second. Like I'm, I try not to keep too much good around that I don't use. See, this is one for me that I kind of don't like is like, that's not really critical for this thing. Neither is this. Like I want, I want as, little stuff going on as possible. And I don't know what this image class 100% is. Original image. Here's that margin bottom, like, I don't want to have to think about all this stuff. I just want the, the one, like in this image left and like all this other stuff, like, and maybe it is important. I mean, that's the trick. Maybe it is, but it feels like not because some of that feels like other stuff. Um, but this object contain. Well, what happened? So we just put that in. So what happens now? Uh, what happens now is we uncomment this. Okay. 
See, I was almost stuck on that figure stuff and trying to like use it. But if this works, cool. All right, so I'm not gonna, like part of me wants to like just figure out like the specific parts of this code that I need to have. But the way that I'm gonna do that is to actually just paste all of it in and see if I get the same result to start with. It definitely freaked some stuff out, but this is very much, I think, what I'm looking for. Uh, so I'm gonna slowly but surely chop away at the parts that I don't wanna have. Get rid of that. Uh, why is it... I don't understand why it's below my other thing here, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm just gonna work on getting the main section of it going. Like I don't wanna get distracted by the fact that it's not in this ordered area. Um, so that's the image, so that, that made it move. So now let me see if I can get my images to show up in there. Um, And that is going to be changing this to this because I've got this imagery size path, which is what I know that I want to have in there. Um, right? Yeah, I'm not using any... Wait, resize. Yeah, that's right, because I took the other one out. Okay, we're in good shape. What is this going to do? That's pretty hot! Also, is that responsive? No, okay, who cares? Um, oh, because it's probably, somehow it's probably still in the bounding thing, but that is, wow, these, oh, sorry, the image, the image sizes are a little bit wrong. I want 200 by 200. Dot image, which we're not, using are we are we dot image is the container that's a uh, image oh that's a frustrating name for me um because it's that's not the image an image is a thing it's the image container Credit on the code, but I'm the the name gets me a little bit. Um, two hundred by two hundred. So now it's just a padding thing. Wait, it still feels something feels off. These are getting. Where's my cat? No, he's in there. Not bad, but not right now. Maybe bad, I'm not sure. Just not right now. To be determined later. Let's make it just five and five. Actually, I like even numbers, six and six. Let's see if that gets four. Okay, there's four. That's way wider. Why is it so wide? Is this? Oh, yeah, I can do this. Oh, it has no link on it. Um, I can put the link on it. I'm gonna do that in a minute, but I, that's, I don't wanna mess with that yet until I have this understood. Uh, here's Salute Luke, that's why I've got him up there. Just make it easy to find. Yeah, that's the full image. 
the thing that I don't understand, and I guess, so I guess that's 200 pixels high. Is that it? Is that what I'm seeing? It just looks shorter. Like this looks like 200, like this looks like 200 pixels wide. This does not look like 200 pixels tall. Oh, you know what might be happening? I think I know what's happening. There's a paragraph in there. So this container is 200, but that's part of it. Let's take out all that white space. That was not it. Okay. Uh, I don't understand what's going on. Because like what I'm expect, so what I'm expecting is here. Let me get rid of those two. Height one twenty. Ah. Uh... That's it. So it's force. It was forcing the height down. Yep, because this one's a two hundred by two hundred, and it's completely filling. That's it. Okay. I I don't totally understand what's going on. I would need to back into that a little bit, and I may at some point. But like right now, I mean, this this is this was this was my goal. Um, Yeah, this was my goal. This was it. So it's, so what's it doing? So it's setting all the images. So like, for one, I wouldn't want to set all images like this. Like it's fine on this page. I don't understand what this class stuff is at all. But so I, I it, to me, it should be something like, you know, image container image or whatever, right? Because you want to specify down. Um, I don't have any other images on the page, so I don't care. But so it, it sets the image height at 400, at 200. Image class width, I, this I don't understand. I don't know, like I just don't know what the... Um, So let me, I get it, I get it, get out of the way. That's the wrong one. Is that the wrong one? Oh, it's, it's they're using, this is it, right? Yeah, this is it. The image changed, because uh, they're using more on Pixel to get different images. Um, but this is definitely going in the notes. Where's the notes? Where's the notes? So here's the trick, is I, I was almost stuck on fi on figures. Like I was about to try and back into getting this to work in figures, like starting with a figure and then trying to assemble pieces around it. Um, one of the neat things about doing the stream is I actually stopped myself while I was talking about it and was like, nah, do it this other way. So, or come back at it from the, from the other direction. So that's really cool. I like that a lot. Also, that was the much better way to do it. Cause like, I don't really care 
how the display looks like this as long as the display looks like this. Like this was my target. This was my goal. Um, and now I've got I've got enough of a grounding in this. Like I can mess around with the CSS a little bit. Like I'm I'm in I'm in a position that I know what to do if I want to play with the you know the colors or whatever. I'm not even sure I'm going to. Um, maybe a little bit. I'm not sure. Um, actually, one thing I yeah. So actually, the thing I'm probably gonna do is I don't know, actually we might be able to do it without having to resize the images. Oh no, because one of the sizes still hits. So you'd still need to do image container. And it's got a Well, that freaked everything out. Don't do that. That was bad. Yeah, again, I don't understand what's going on. Like, it, it's crazy to me that that freaked that thing out that much. Like, it was just adding padding, I thought. But, like, yeah, I, I just don't have a grounding in it uh, or an understanding of it. Uh, but whatever. That's cool. We're working. Um, oh, so, yeah, so the last thing, and we'll just close it out with this is to add back, I hope we will close it out with this. I hope this doesn't completely freak everything out. So here's the question is, can I have white space in there? Or is that gonna freak stuff out? It appears to be okay. I still don't understand why this is happening. Um, but I'm done for the night. I'm just gonna make the links hot. Oh, actually, um, yeah, I need to do two things. Ah, crap, I do need to do a couple more things. Uh, let me just grab this, because this will work. So that should make the links hot when I do this. And put that in there, because that's going to be the first one, and the image calls the second one. So... Who are we gonna test with? We're gonna test with the Joker. Happy Joker. Happy Joker. Happy Joker. Did Happy Joker just disappear? Whatever. Hang on. All right, we're gonna test it one more time with Angry Sandman. Angry Sandman. Oh, I just clicked off it. Okay, gotcha. Um. So we got the links hot, everything's good there, uh, but we lost our names. So, one, two, why didn't I have it four times? Two, oh, because I did an alt on the image. I'm not gonna do an alt this time. That's not true, I am, because I need to get that practice. So there it is. Why didn't it show up when it was below? Oh, because the image has, the image container has a specific height. Where's our image container? There we go. I don't like the fact that it's a little, it's closer to the, um, it's closer to the one that it's not.
Yeah, so it looks, it's over it. Now what if we just do a span there? Instead of a paragraph. Yeah, there we go. Put it right on top of them. And it's still, this, this is the good test image because this is 200 by 200. Right? Yep. Oh, 500 by 5. Wait a minute. Oh, this is the full image. I send the full image, but the the aspect ratio is the same. So when we cropped it to 200, it's 200 by 200. Um, in fact, we'll just prove that. Um, Launchpad, production, GIFs, reside, alien, 200 by 200. Yep, there you go. So cool. Now we got the Luke thing going on. We got all that. This is pretty solid. This is what I wanted to build. This is very cool. Uh, what else was I gonna do? I said I was gonna do something else. Uh, the links are hot. The names are there. It's working. I think that's it. I think we're done. Three hours, 15. It's about right. Yeah. Let's just... Uh, Cross the uh, this little thing off the list. Get some CSS. Make it look nicer. Uh, let me just look through what else is here. I'm not doing anything else tonight, but yeah. So you could do some metadata. I was looking at maybe throwing some metadata in there to make searching like giving tags. Um, log when images are used, uh, present some random images at the top. That one I may do. So these other ones are just kind of like, you know, you know, ideas are just like throwing stuff out. Um, it's stuck to the wall, but I, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to do it. Um, build a tool to edit the GIFs. Like, again, this is getting pretty substantial. Um, set up an option to resize giant GIFs down. I don't really understand that one. I guess maybe, I mean, that's kind of a separate thing. That's a separate thing. That's not for this, this is for over here. Which is really just, I'm sure, whatever. So I made, I made, I make a bunch of GIFs and I made some of them that were so big they're like 11 meg and Discord only has like an, it has an eight meg limit. So I could go, like, I kind of want to see if I can re, if I can size those things down and still have them look good. Um, but there's not that many of them. I may just redo them. Um, and again, that's another one. So like another big Sandy Metz ones is like sometimes like the right way to do th something is manually. Um, if it's a one-off and a quick thing or whatever, just do it. Um, make tags, filters that load images with specific tags, right? So it, this is all if I do EXIF stuff, if I put in uh, file info stuff, which is Interesting idea, but I don't need to do it yet. Um, performance coming issue, pagination, performance is not an issue right now. This is the XIF. This would be logging stuff, which I'm not that worried about. Um, the XIF again. Imprint yeah, so the only one of these that I'm going to end up doing is presenting random images at the top of the page. Um, so I'll just pull, I'll just pull a few images, like pull four images or whatever and just throw them up top um, out of a random array. Um, but that is for another time. Uh, but that's, I mean, this is it. This is the tool. Uh, this is the thing that I was after. Uh, and I'm really excited about it. So cool. Hope you enjoyed the journey. Um, the, hope you'd come back and enjoy it. I don't know, whatever. Uh, Y'all be kind, have a good one. Uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, my phone is going off, so clearly that's the perfect timing. So uh, we'll see y'all, have a good one, thanks.